everyone welcome back to the channel today i'll make a video on a pretty fresh topic in the industry so it's going to be about how to use the superbase mcp server with uh, an ai tool so in this example we're going to show how you can connect basically superbase to your cursor uh, chat and basically this will allow you to execute commands um, on a distance and get whatever you want so if you want let's say to pull a schema in or basically execute a select and insert whatever you can do this so i'm going to show you how you can do it on your uh, editor and uh, it's pretty simple so let's get started so first up if you don't know what an mcp is it's basically an abbreviation for model contra context protocol and it's basically a server that goes between your database so uh let's go make a small drawing so you have your uh, database right here and let's say this is your uh, super base just like that and then what happens is you have in the middle your uh, mcp server so the server right here and then what happens is when you do a request from the uh, chat right here so let's show a chat right here what happens is it sends a request to the MCP server for a specific tool. So it could be, I don't know, weather data. It could be a, a specific API, um, a specific uh, SQL flavor like we're doing right now. And what happens is the MCP server then sends the request to the Superbase instance and it talks back to the MCP and the MCP sends the response back to uh, your cursor interface. But it could also be used with uh, Windsurf or any other AI tool that you want to use. It depends on uh, which one you're using. So let's, uh, let me show you how you can do this. So first thing, what you're gonna wanna do is go get your uh, connection string from your dashboard. This is gonna be uh, in the settings. So if you click project settings uh, and then click on connect at the top here, uh, we're going to need to connect to our uh, Superbase database. Um, so what we'll do is just scroll down and go to the session pooler uh, connection string. And then what we'll do is we'll just copy this. We uh, will open our um, cursor uh, editor. I just opened a, a dummy uh, project here, which is um, my uh, massive SEO project. And what I'll do is I'll just create a new directory if you don't have it yet. So it's going to be called dot cursor. And then uh, what we'll do is going to be uh, a new file called MCP dot uh, JSON. And it depends on uh, what platform you are. For me, I am a Windows. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, in this file paste this uh, uh, command. So it's going to be basically telling that we want to add a new MCP server that is called uh, Superbase and it calls this specific uh, tool from the model context protocol, which is a standard protocol at uh, model context protocol.io. You can go check the docs if you want, but there's a lot of interesting plugins you can get from there, uh, which are basically MCP servers uh, made for specific things. Uh, but in our case, we're going to use the uh, connection string that we copied. So just let me get uh, let me get it back. So uh, we'll go get our connection string and then you'll need to enter your password. Uh, so I'll just enter it and uh, blur it uh, when um, I'm finished. So let me just do this. OK, so then I uh, just entered my uh, password. And what we'll do next is we'll basically make sure that the npm config is done well. So just type npm config get prefix to make sure that the tool has access to our um, npm config um, from inside cursor. And then what you want to do is do settings, settings path, and then we'll do just like this, and then percentage path percentage dot comma and then you'll enter the pad that you just got from there so just copy it right there you paste and click enter i already done it so i'm not going to do it again but then what will happen is that this will tell npm um, tell cursor that uh, your npm and placement is at this place in your specific environment variables on your computer and then what you will want to do is go check the mcp server settings on a cursor so 
if I go check the cursor settings, uh, just like that, and I go to the MCP section, I can see that I have the Superbase MCP service that is appearing right here. Make sure it's enabled uh, with the button uh, to make sure that everything is working and then you should be ready uh, to go. Now, so what I want you to do is to basically create a new chat. So we'll start and go ahead with uh, creating a new chat and we'll ask our agent to basically tool call our uh, Superbase command. So uh, we'll do something, get me, get, the public schema from my Superbase database. Let's click enter and see what it returns uh, calling from our Superbase database, uh, just like that. So as you can see, it automatically recognized that it needs to call the uh, MCP tool. So we'll click run tool and we can see the response. So it basically ran a select table name, uh, column name and all these things from uh, our um, stat pages on, uh, super, on our Superbase instance. And you can see that we have the tables here and this allowed him to basically integrate in context uh, the tables that we have. So then after that, let's say you could follow up with that and make, let's say an SQL file about uh, the schema. So Let's ask it, um, create a schema.sql file from this information, just like that. So, and then after that, it will create this, the SQL schema file from the schema it pulled out of the uh, running database. Uh, and as you can see, it's running right now. So it's creating the specific file and uh, pulling all the table definitions. So as you can see, it created the schema file right here. If we click accept, we'll be able to have our schema file right here. And it's basically a copy of what we already have in uh, the database. Let's try something uh, a little bit more challenging. So let's take a look at uh, our specific tables and try to find some websites that uh, we might have in the, uh, the rows of the database. And so we have four websites. So let's ask uh, our agent to count how many rows there is on this specific, um, in this specific table. So um, find how many websites there is in the website table of my Superbase database. Then it will run and call again the uh, MCP tool. So as you can see, calling MCP tool, select count as website count from websites. And we can click run tool. As you can see, website count is four. There are four websites currently stored in your websites table. Would you like to see more about these websites as, as their URL? Um, let's, let's say go for it. And then it will run this. So as you can see, it's very powerful. You can interact with your database as you want. Um, there's really nothing you cannot do uh, with uh, this. You can do anything in natural language. So if you ask a specific query, uh, it will run it. So as you can see, uh, now it's going to select the ID, URL, stuff like that. Um, and basically, yeah, it's it's really um, a good a good tool to use and you can do it with any other tool not only Superbase and Cursor. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any other question, um, I just started a new community, completely free community uh, in the Discord in the description, you can check and uh, join there, create a ticket if you have any question or need help. Uh, and otherwise you can also take a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, uh, I am available um, and it will be my pleasure to help you. I'll see you guys in the next one.